looking for something new to do with your ground venison. Today we're going to be making some patty melts and Frisco melts. The ingredients basically include some caramelized onions for the patty melt, two pieces of American cheese, some special burger sauce we're going to make, and your sourdough toast. For the patty melts, pretty much the same ingredients, same patties. We're going to season them the same way, but they're going to get one slice of Swiss, one slice of American with those two patties, and we're going to just use the sauce, no caramelized onions. We're gonna put a thin slice on these. We want them to be longer. Uh, rather than dice them up, just put a thin slice. Uh, you can cut your onions in half. So basically you're doing half moons is what I call them. All right, our cast iron is preheated. We're gonna go ahead and saute our onions to make caramelized onions. I'm gonna start out with about two tablespoons of olive oil. We're gonna season them with a little bit of salt and pepper. This can take uh, some time, maybe 20, 30 minutes if you really wanna get good caramelized onions. We're gonna add some butter in a little bit later as they start to get transparent. That's gonna help with the browning. We're also gonna add in a little bit of beef stock. This is gonna also help uh, uh, give them a dark color and help them caramelize. While our onions are caramelizing, we're gonna go ahead and make up our burger patties. We're simply gonna take our ground venison. This is mixed with 20% pork fat, and we're just gonna season it with salt and pepper. Give it a good mix. We want our patties to be uh, fairly large but thin. We want them to cover the entire area of the sourdough. Um, but we want them to be pretty thin because we're going to do double patties, double cheese. Something about like that. Our onions are reducing down. We're going to go ahead and get started on our sauce. It's going to be about equal parts mayonnaise to ketchup. add and change ingredients as you need to based upon your own taste. We're only going to do about um, a half a tablespoon of mustard. This is pretty strong, so we're just going to do a little bit. We're going to add some sweet relish. About two tablespoons. And just a couple of dashes of Worcestershire. That's pretty good. Another tip I wanted to share with you, um, if you're running low on mayonnaise, you can always make your sauce in here and just leave it in there. That way you don't have to worry about scraping all your mayonnaise out of the container. Onions are coming along good. We went ahead and added about two tablespoons of butter. We're gonna go ahead and mix that in. This will help with the browning process. Onions are reducing nicely. They're getting some good color. We're going to put in about a quarter cup of beef stock. You could use venison stock. In a pinch, you could use chicken stock, any stock or broth you have on hand. This is going to help pull up any of the brown bits on the bottom, as well as just uh, help them caramelize and give them a darker, richer color. Go ahead and stir that in to incorporate. Make sure to scrape those brown bits off the bottom if there are any. As our onions are still finishing up, we're going to go ahead and take our sourdough bread and just spread a little bit of butter on the outside of each side. Because once our onions are done, we're going to sear our patties in the same skillet and then we'll remove those and we're going to toast our bread in the skillet as well. White bread would work in a pinch. Um, you want a good hearty bread to stand up to the patties and the sauce, but white bread will in fact work. It's a good thin layer of butter, just like you're making a grilled cheese. All right, our onions are getting to be pretty caramelized. What we're gonna do is go ahead and transfer them over to this glass bowl, reserve them for later. While this skillet is still hot, we're going to go ahead and add our patties. Again, you want them super thin because we're going to end up doubling them up. So as 
we pull our fourth patty out of our skillet, we're going to go ahead and drop our first piece of bread in. Remember, it's buttered on one side. Take our first piece of Swiss cheese. We're going to put our patty, a good old Kraft American single. and our special sauce. All right, then we're gonna go ahead and add our top piece of bread. Go ahead and see if this is ready to flip. All right, we're ready to flip. Got a good golden brown on this side here. All right, so that sandwich is done. Go ahead and add in our next piece, a piece of American, one of our patties, another piece of American, another one of our patties, and some of those caramelized onions. Add our last piece of toast. Okay, we'll give this a flip. Give that a few minutes on that side. We'll be good to go. All right, we're going to go ahead and pull this out. All right, I hope you enjoyed these recipes. Again, look for the ambassador page to find the full recipe. This is just another great way to use your ground venison. This is the Frisco melt. That is delicious. You can always dip it in extra sauce. This is your patty melt with the caramelized onions. So good. These are both family-friendly meals and other ways to use your ground venison. Make sure you give them a try.